Mr. Stout will take you through that action here. We've got, uh, what, 12 drivers lined up to compete in the stadium super trucks? Uh, I believe it's actually 10 drivers that are out here, but it'll be, uh, it'll sound significantly different from the it smooth will. sounds of those turbocharged Indy cars to the thundering V8s that will come out here. The LS plant uh, based plants, uh, power plants, will put on a show for sure. If you've not seen these trucks, you are in for quite a treat, for sure. No doubt about that. Uh, they'll set the ramps up all around the track. They'll sail these things uh, in excess of 30 feet and get it ready to go. So we're going to start off here. Did you say we're starting at the back? We'll start off with our starting grid here, and it looks like we will start off in the back of this as well with our absolute best. These are the guys that qualified at the top of the sheet just one day ago. We'll kick it off with our points leader behind the wheel of the number 28 truck. He's had a great start here to the 2022 season, grabbing his first number one qualifying effort in the series just one day ago. The reigning champ of this event just one year ago has three podiums and four starts this season. Behind the wheel, the number 28 Lucas Oil Products Continental Tire Entry is your current points leader, Robert Stout. Alongside him will be the number 77. Keep your eyes on this young man right here. One of our two fastest qualifiers a day ago at age 14. He's the son of the series founder, Robbie Gordon. He's earned his first win at the season opener in Long Beach, then backed it up with another at, at our last race at Mid-Ohio. The number 77 truck representing Speed UTV, Speed Energy, and Continental Tire. This is 14-year-old Mad Max Gordon. We go up to our next row. On the outside of row number four, three-time and reigning champ, won 18 pulls, 23 wins. The third winningest driver in the history of the series, driving the number 83 Continental Tire entry, is Matty Brabham. He'll be right alongside another very tough, tough contestant here, the 51 truck, sponsored by Zen Nicotine Patches. Part of our Fast Four qualifiers, the last two rows here, and of course two of them off-road pro light champ right here is Ryan Beat. Four wins in Pro 2 as well. This is the first time he's been back in the truck since 2020, qualifying fourth year, starting seventh, and the number 51 Zen Nicotine Patch uh, entry, that is Ryan Beat. The number 55 truck grabbed his second pole and 10th career win at Mid-Ohio. Tied for second, and the points coming into this event with Mad Max, representing VP Fuels. Put your hands together for the fourth winningest driver in the history of this series, Gavin Harlan. Next up is the Tootsie Orchid Lounge entry. Has competed in all three divisions of NASCAR and has four starts in IndyCar as well, representing the F26 in memory of Mark and Shorty Fields and Mark's father, Shorty, of course, two of Robbie Gordon's driving childhood heroes. This is Stanton Barrett. Next up on the outside of the next row is the number 67 Holiday Rambler entry. That is the 11-time national karting champ of Ben Mayer. As they drop the green flag here, Ben Mayer, so talented, that young man doing a great job in qualifying, made his debut at Mid-Ohio. Bill Hines out there leading the group as they drop the flag. A full field inversion here from what I understand, five and a half laps. Is, I'm sorry, five laps is what they will close with. We'll open up here with three and a half laps, and we'll see a mandatory caution, and then close it up with five laps. Everybody hard on the brakes here, coming down the bridge <laughs> into this left-hander. The fast four back there all rolling smoke off the front tires. Looks like Max trying to make a little bit of room there right alongside Ryan Beat. Ryan Beat gets shoveled to the back there pretty quickly. Under the brake zone, that's where it all happens, and Ryan Pete trying to shake a little bit of rust off. Ben Mayer, the young 13-year-old, right there in the 67 Holiday Rambler truck. The 11-time coding champ that we were talking about made his debut at Mid-Ohio. Yes, 13 years old, going into eighth grade, out here competing, and very solid. Keep in mind, they have to go through a process to make sure they qualify, and he certainly did that. Gavin Harlan sitting right alongside that purple truck, Sponsored by the Tootsies 
Orchid Lounge. And again, everybody rolling smoke off the front tires there, trying to get those things locked down as Robert Stout in the number 28 Lucas Oil Machine makes his way past another vehicle. We didn't have a chance to mention Cletus McFarland. Hell yeah, brother. He's in the field. How about 1.5 million followers on Facebook for Cletus McFarland, currently sitting in second place with the number 1776. Matty Bravo making a big move, passes a couple of trucks, including Stout gets up alongside Stan Barrett. Cletus McFarland making his debut at Long Beach was about 50 yards from winning his first race, had a big moment off of the jump, lost control of the truck, crashed it, and did not cross the finish line. It was a heartbreaker, but he was right there. Looks like he's gonna drive out and around. Cletus McFarland locks that thing up completely sideways trying to not take out Zoe Edenholm. Gavin Harlan, a very clean racer. He'll push it right to the ragged edge, no doubt about it, but very clean racer. He and Stout have had some great battles at Mid-Ohio a little bit earlier, our previous event. Zoe Edenholm, they're just ahead. Great look at that pink truck. ARRC LED sponsored machine, Sedona Artisan Spring Water. And you can see them very, very close in terms of horsepower as Gavin Harlan trying to pick up another one here. Gavin getting all out of it right back behind him. It's Cletus McFarland, everything locked up. Ben Mayer with the front end locked up. All of those guys rolling smoke off the front tires as they make their way through. Again, three and a half laps. We will see a mandatory caution, but right now, everybody's still bunched up. Matty Brabham now trying to get up alongside the pink truck of Zoe Edenholm. Looks like he'll get the spot. He rolls up behind Ben Mayer. Gavin Harlan out front. Get out front early on. Should be able to take care of the truck. We'll see if the other fast guys can make their way up in there before that mandatory caution. If not, it's gonna open up the door for Gavin Harlan to drive away in the back half of this race. However, the second half, a good bit longer at five laps. Championship points available for leading the most laps in one of these races. Ben Mayer way to the inside trying to pass Cletus McFarland, they go side by side. Good, hard racing, but nobody crashing each other. Matty Brabham trying to follow through. Everybody getting into the back bumper of each other here, pushing them through. Look at them, left front tire. Well, these guys all still nose to tail. They're a little bit shorter here today because of our lack of time, but wanted to get this race in for all of the fans. Ben Mayer right there, Cletus McFarland, Matty Brabham, Robert Stout, then Mad Max Gordon. That is third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Stout right there behind Matty Brabham. Those two had a great battle here one year ago along with Robbie Gordon. And Cletus McFarland with hand signals in there to Ben Mayer. I'm not sure if he saw those or knew was definitely talking to him. Gavin Harlan, your leader. VP Racing sponsored number 55 truck way out front right now. Bravo trying to get tough. Our pass the tough 13-year-old. Stout trying to follow him through. Stout up there on the left rear fender of Ben Mayer. And here comes a 77 truck of Max. Max Gordon and Robert Stout have had a lot of contact here this year. 
not afraid to put a bumper on somebody or a door as far as that matters. And Ryan beat now the back bumper of Robert Stout. Working lap four, so we'll see if, in fact, that uh, that mandatory caution comes out here. Brabham and McFarland trading some fiberglass. And Brabham runs him right out to the wall. That opens up the door for Ben Mayer to take advantage of it. And there is the caution. Rough and tough racing right there, ladies and gentlemen. Exciting stuff. Everybody knows the tail side by side and areas where you didn't think any passing could take place. Oh, and throw in a couple of jumps. Total race distance here in nine laps. Good look at that replay with everybody hard on the brakes, man. What an exciting shot. Round five of the 2022 season. Of course, we'll be out here again tomorrow after the uh, the IndyCar event, and they will put on their second moto qualifying points earned one day ago. They'll earn uh, moto points here today with the winner receiving 12 and then back down by one down through the field. And then, of course, points again for the second moto tomorrow. And they'll tally them all up. Whoever has the most will be the winner. Gavin Harlan, our most recent overall winner, leading this one. They work their way back around here to the start and finish. And we'll get these final five laps underway. Gavin Harlan, Matty Bravo. Ben Mayer, Cleus McFarland. Mad Max Gordon, Robbie, uh, Robert Stout, and then Ryan B to get things restarted. Again, Cletus down underneath. Ben Mayer, and looks like Max trying to get out alongside Ben Mayer as well is going to get it done and gets the spot. Stout trying to get past him now as well, so these guys getting around that number 67 here. Side by side they go. Ryan Beat taking advantage of uh, a good run right here, pushing Stout up there with him. Stout with a big run from that push from the 51 truck. Stout right on the back bumper of Mad Max. Those three guys tied together with a shoestring. Exciting stuff back there. Mad Max right there, the number 77, Robert Stout, the 28, Ryan Beat, the 51, Ben Mayer, the 13-year-old, right there in the mix with him. Everybody with a little bit of breathing room here. They head back up over the bridge and again roll smoke off these front ends as they lock them down. The better part of 150 miles an hour out of these trucks right here. A blind entry to this left-hander. Gavin Harlan out front. Matty Brabham right there on him. Matty Brabham, one of the absolute best. We talked about it before. Third winning this driver in the history of this series. These two up front very, very fast. Third and fourth winning this drivers, in fact. Gavin Harlan right there in the hunt with him as well. Ryan Bede has now gotten around the number 28 of Robert Stout. Everybody close back up. Through that tight complex, one, two, and three as they head back up over the bridge. Matty Brabham now trying to take advantage of that draft. Brabham rolling smoke off the front tire, trying to get everything out of it he possibly can. Brabham, of course, also competing in the Indy Light Series this year.
And still a pretty good gap there back to third place. Cletus McFarland holding off the gang so far. Ryan beat a little wide right there. Stout trying to get underneath him. Looked like it broke the momentum from both of those guys. Here comes Mad Max. Right alongside, Cleus McFarland sl slams the door on him. Says, not just yet. Amazing run here out of Cletus, by the way. Cletus well off the pace one day ago in qualifying. Five trucks here, nose to tail, as Ryan Beat now takes a look at Mad Max. No change at the front. Gavin Harlan still out front, followed up and pressured by Matty Brattle. Working lap seven of nine. Boy, these first two really driving away now. Cletus just fast enough to really keep this crew back here tight, but not able to track down those first two. Really got the field bunched up. Right there, it looks like the 77 Mad Max trying to stick his nose underneath there. Gets him locked up. Stout tries, Stout gets two. Stout picks up two right there as Mad Max and Cletus got hung up. Stout drove underneath Beat and drove underneath the 77 of Max. Max again using that front fender, that front bumper, and it looks like Ryan Beat's gonna feed a little bit back to Max. You lose a position if you lose your hood. Something else to consider there is Max's uh, hood certainly flying around there. Looks like it might stay on there. A little bit of breathing room now, and Max gets back into Ryan Beat. Those guys duking it out back there. Stout trying to find a way around Cletus now. Here comes Stout with a run. Stout trying to get underneath Cletus. Can he make it happen? All the way up beside him, trying to make a little bit of room. Stout might be able to finally get by him. Nobody has been able to do so since Matty Brabham, but Cletus is not gonna make it easy, that's for sure. Stout able to now get a fender up on him as they go into turn number two. He tries to turn Stout around. I don't think that was an intentional deal. Good hard racing right there, but Stout gets clear of Cletus. That should open up the door for him to make a run. Cletus with a right front flat. McFarland had a great run, man. What a solid effort out here today. Keep in mind in terms of national points, Gavin Harlan just three back behind Stout in terms of the championship. Matty Brabham has not run all the rounds here this year, so not a threat when it comes to that, but taking away valuable points from Stout and needs to close the gap here. And that's a massive gap to two very fast trucks. Timing and scoring says two to go. Again, Gavin Harlan hard on the brakes down there. Putting those Continental tires through their paces. Boy, are they tough. They'll be able to run these tires all weekend long despite what you see them putting them through. It's amazing what these tires can take. And here comes Matty Brabham. Brabham stuffing the nose down underneath Gavin Harlan. Side by side off the jump they go. White flag out.
working this last lap. Gavin Harlan not done with him just yet. Here comes Gavin Harlan right up alongside. Can he get a run on him? Matty Brabham trying to squeeze him over towards the wall. Gavin Harlan was there, but he lifted just a little bit. We'll see now if Matty Brabham can make the turn. Pushed all the way down in there. Here comes Harlan right back on the back bumper. It's not over yet. Trying to go outside in is Gavin Harlan. Up over the jump here, of course, they've got to come back up over the bridge. That's going to be another great passing opportunity here for Harlan. Sit back there in the draft. Harlan smacked the wall just a little bit. No harm to all. It actually did cause him a little bit. Lost a little momentum there. Can push a big hole in the air and open something up here for Harlan to get a run. Here comes Harlan taking a look. Here comes Harlan down to the inside. Harlan's going to make a run at this win side by side. Rolling smoke off of all the tires. Look at these guys. Matty Brabham hangs on to it somehow. Final lap here, final couple of turns as they work their way back to the checkered flag. Round number five, the Speed Energy Stadium Super Trucks. Here comes Harlan again on the outside. Harlan has been right there. I told you he was a clean racer. He's yet to touch Brabham. He's probably applied all the pressure possible without crashing him. Just was not able to get there as the checkered flag flies, and Matty Brabham will grab his 24th career win with the Stadium Super Truck Series. Gavin Harlan with a valiant effort there for sure. Haven't seen back behind them to confirm, but I believe Stout still in third place. And Stout has flipped the truck. I don't know if it was before or after the finish line. Of course, the first thought is, is he okay? You can see the marks right there where he got out into the wall. Oh, he got hit by Max. Max absolutely doing him dirty. He's done it a couple of times this year and a nasty, very dangerous move by Max Gordon. Of course, we want to make sure that the driver is okay first. Max has gotten more aggressive all season long. Smashed in the back bumper of Stout's truck at Long Beach till he moved him out of the way. Put a door on him at Mid-Ohio. Then he and Ryan beat in a nasty battle out here today. And then comes back up and just drives right into the side of Stout. Again, waiting to see if uh, if Robert Stout gets out of this truck and uh, everything is okay. And clearly communication with the driver. You see Robert in there moving around. They wouldn't have flipped that truck back over unless he had given them a thumbs up. So. Crazy happenings there at the very end. As, as it stands right now, Gordon will finish up on the podium. Rick, I'll turn it over to you, bud. i got to go handle the uh, the winner's circle. All right. We'll catch up with you when you get down there, Ken Stout. Well done, as always. And congratulations to Matthew Brabham in the 83 truck. Your winner over Gavin Harlan, Max Gordon, Beat, Meyer, Edenholm, Barrett, Robert Stout, Bill Hines and McFarland, the way they finish here today in the first of two events for the Wild Stadium Super Trucks. What a great show uh, they put on here and elsewhere when you see them around the country in a variety of different venues. They race a lot of IndyCar weekends. Uh, we've seen them at St. Pete and Toronto and Detroit over the years and now here at Nashville for the second time, Mid-Ohio and other places. Robert Stout out of the truck. Uh, looks like he might have been shaken up just a hair, but uh, he's okay. And uh, peeling the gloves off, the truck will need some uh, cosmetic work at the very least. Make sure everything's okay before tomorrow's second event here at the Stadium Super Trucks. Part of our weekend, the Big Machine Music City Grand Prix. So it's been a lot of fun here today. Coming up, the SRO GT America cars will be out on track in just a short while for the feature and final race of Saturday.
And uh, we will have that for you leading up to the big concert tonight on the stage in the infield. McGraw, headline act tonight here in his hometown city of Nashville, Tennessee. All part of the Big Machine Music City Grand Prix, a weekend of wheel-to-wheel -wheel action with the world's fastest athletes. And on behalf of NTT, the IndyCar Series, IndyCar, and the promoters here, we're excited to welcome you to this great event. It's a weekend full of exhilarating on-track action. As always, you can follow along every step of the way with live timing and scoring, driver information, and the latest schedule info, too. It's all on the IndyCar app, powered by NTT Data, or at the website, IndyCar.com. You can pick up the spotter guide on that website, on that uh, app. That's why we've mentioned several times this weekend. Be sure and download the IndyCar app. Go to the uh, Apple App Store or the Google Play App Store and, and get that app and uh, you know, keep it with you. It's a great way to keep up on all the latest happenings in the NTT IndyCar Series. Every lap, every session, every race, including timing and scoring, live IndyCar radio broadcasts, exclusive content, and more, all available to you on the IndyCar app powered by NTT Data. It is a free download in the App Store or Google Play today. It's your sport, your way, anywhere, anytime with the IndyCar app powered by NTT Data. Spotter guide available as well on the app. You can also participate by getting in the driver's seat through the NTT IndyCar app. It's powered by NTT Data with live in-car cameras and live audio during the race. Ride along with your favorite driver. You can become part of the action by downloading the IndyCar app. And you can also participate in the Fantasy Challenge. Join, play, and win. And it's time to choose wisely, race fans. Play the IndyCar Fantasy Challenge tomorrow. Driven by Firestone, the official fantasy racing game of the NTT IndyCar series select your team choose your podium and play to win fantastic weekly and season-long prizes download the indycar app or go to fantasy.com indycar.com fantasy.indycar.com starts you playing today and you can stay connected with the indycar series by following along with us at indycar on instagram twitter facebook and youtube tag us in your photos from the weekend using hashtag indycar and also when you download the app and go to the website don't miss out you can get insider news, exclusive behind-the-scenes access, benefits, discounts, and more when you join the nation, IndyCar Nation. Go to IndyCarNation.IndyCar.com and sign up for that today. You can also get into the fast lane with the IndyCar Pick'em Contest from the NBC Sports Predictor, powered by PointsBet. Play free, get a chance to win the $25,000 jackpot every race, all season long. Download the NBC Sports Predictor app today. It's available in all app stores. Also, as we get set for action tomorrow here at Big Machine Music City Grand Prix, all U.S. military veterans and those who continue to serve our country have a special welcome here this weekend. As a thank you for your service, please head to the complimentary Patriot Post Hospitality Venue. It's brought to you by Harbaugh Foundation. It is inside the bridge building here on the grounds of the streets of Nashville Circuit. Experience the signature Big Machine Music City Grand Prix cocktail, the race line. It's made with Big Machine Vodka, Fresh Lime, and Red Bull Red Edition. Enjoy, but of course, please drink responsibly. All right, coming up, the SRO folks will be coming to pit lane with the GT America machines getting set to go racing for you here this evening. That'll be our concluding event of the day. Tomorrow we'll be back here bright and early to get you set for IndyCar action, which begins at 2.30 tomorrow afternoon. The Indy Lights racing before that. They did not get a chance to qualify because of our weather issues today, but... Uh, Certainly, we've got a lot of action for you tomorrow. The Stadium Super Trucks will be back for their second race. SRO GT America will be on track tomorrow as well. And a concluding concert tomorrow night to wrap things up here in the island here as we are on the banks of the Cumberland River situation between the river and Nissan Stadium, of course. Stout will handle the main presentation stadium ceremonies for our Stadium Super Trucks in just a couple of moments. We'll hear from the top three finishers in our event here today. Here's young Max Gordon in the 77. Congratulations uh, among the drivers who finished well here today. Let's uh, get some of the stories from the podium in Stadium Super Trucks. And here is my colleague, Ken Stout. Thanks a lot, Rick. I appreciate it. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Do you like Stadium Super, Super Trucks? Always exciting for sure and uh, certainly didn't fail to be that way here today as the top three have made it over here to the podium. By the way, some of this still under review as they will uh, figure out if these three do remain on the podium. But for now, the number 77 is in third place. We'll get Max up here. Uh, talk to Max. Max Gordon, ladies and gentlemen, 14 years old, couple of wins on the season. 
Qualified second here, just one round to go. Tough race, man. Yeah, I mean, uh, tough race. Um, I had no brakes coming down the front stretch. I almost hit the wall. And then coming down that jump, I, had, I was locked up, and I was trying to slide it, and he cut inside. And I was like, oh, and I tried to save it. But uh, the coming down the front stretch, I almost crashed. And uh, Is that what was happening between you and Ryan Beat as well, no brakes? Yeah, I had no brakes. You can even go check. So you ran a couple last two laps, three laps, and no brakes? I had to. I mean, I needed the points, and I tried my best, and I'm, I'm so sorry, Ken. And I'm sorry to Robert, and yep. I'm... I'm just asking questions, man. I'm just trying to figure out how you race a truck with no brakes and, and be as aggressive as you were. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it, I was just hoping I could get to the front again, but uh, I did, definitely did not mean to take him out. I'm super sorry, and, uh, you know, if I didn't have any brakes, then I, I just needed the points, and I was just trying. So Max Gordon, ladies and gentlemen, out here scrapping with everybody else. It's all good, buddy. Trophy presenter is Jeff Bryson. Thanks, Jeff. I appreciate it, man. Out of Harbor Lounge. Yeah, that's a, that looks like the overall here. Should be just a third place plaque that we'll, uh, we'll give to them here. Should just be a third place plaque. Do you have another uh, third place plaque there? There it is. Yep, that's the one. Thanks, brother. We'll do it officially. <laughs> Give him that one right there. Yep. Solid effort. So Max Gordon, once again, in third place. In second place, and I mean putting on an incredible show, Gavin Harlan, the fourth winningest driver in the history of the series, comes in here just three points out of the lead. He and Matty Brabham put on as good a race as you'll see anywhere. Great stuff between the two. Put your hands for the driver of the number 55 truck, Gavin Harlan. Solid effort, man. Uh, you were able to get through that pack. I know you weren't happy with the qualifying yesterday. You had a little bit of issues. The, the plus side of it is you get to start a little bit closer to the front. So made your way up through there, got in the lead, was able to take care of the truck. Excellent job. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I was basically just out there by myself for most of it. I saw Matty catching me a little bit there at the end. And I was thinking he was only going to be able to pass me after one of the bridges. And then he got me right before the finish line, which I wasn't expecting. So that was a good move. I tried to get a run on him on the last lap coming down, but I hit the wall coming out, going back down the second bridge and wasn't able to get him back, but definitely a really good race there at the end. But other than that, I was kind of just hitting my marks all alone. Uh, cleaner race than usual for SST, at least for me. I know there was some carnage behind me, but excited uh, to get some points and go out there tomorrow, starting a little farther back and try to get another podium. Yeah, excellent job, man. We did see you tag the wall, lost a little bit of momentum there. Coming back up, you were still able to get all the way up beside him a couple of times. Drove him as clean as possible. You had an opportunity to crash him. You did not do that. You settled for second today and put on a great show. Yeah, I'm super stoked with my VP Racing Fields truck, and I'm excited for tomorrow. Gavin Harlan, ladies and gentlemen, finishing up in second place here today. And once again, the Harbaugh, Harbaugh Foundation is who we need to thank for handing these trophies out. We appreciate what, they're do, uh, what they do. With 24 wins underneath his belt now, third winningest in the history of the series. That great name, of course, his grandfather, uh, Sir Jack Brabham, his father, a talented, talented multi-time champion as well. That is Matty Brabham up here, an exciting run, man. You had to dig back up there. Put your hands together for this guy. He's as solid as they come. Oh, oh, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. Thanks so much for sticking around. Obviously, it was a little bit of a weird day with the weather and all the delays. But uh, yeah, I just can't thank uh, Continental Tire enough for putting me in the truck this weekend. Um, obviously, I've had a really busy weekend. I'm racing Indy Lights and doing this at the same time. So, uh, but yeah, no, that was that was an awesome race. I mean, that was that was textbook kind of super truck racing when you can't break the draft and you just got to find. The, the one corner that they're not expecting you to pass. So, uh, no, it was, it was awesome. I had so much fun. And obviously, big thank you to SST, everyone involved, and, uh, and all the crowd. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Cheers. Awesome stuff. So your top three as it stands here today, that is Max Gordon, Gavin Harlan. And we'll get this last trophy up here one more time from the Harbaugh Foundation. And your winner here today, Matty Brabham.
We will have one more moto with the series uh, after the IndyCar race tomorrow. Of course, they'll tally up the points, and then we will have an overall winner all said and done. Great job, guys.